the shelter in place but went into effect it was it was so crazy we had to round up all of our guests here at the park and we had to kick them out and then right after that we all had to have a meeting and then we all got laid off we were uh furloughed for about four months where i i just didn't get out of my bed uh some days i would miss i would miss fairyland so i would i would just walk around the outside of the park and uh, and pick up trash this is such a happy place and it's covered in broken bottles and stuff it, it like it, it does it makes me sad I've been working at the park full time since the closure. So it's been a little bit hard seeing all uh, most of my coworkers um, being furloughed and not seeing them around the park and, and knowing that they, they might be struggling a little bit. Um, but the animals don't take a day off. Like they still need to be cared for. They rely on us for everything in their life. And so it's our responsibility to care for them. With the park closed, it's been really tough on all of us. 80% of our revenue is people coming through the ferry gates and purchasing tickets. Fortunately, in April, Fairyland received a $400,000 loan from the Paycheck Protection Program, which really helped us in the summer. So with the PPP Act, uh, they were able to bring us back full time and start restoring the park. And when we came back, uh, nature had taken hold. Like no one, no one had done any work on this park. So it, it's, it's taken about two months just to get it to where it is now, and it still needs a lot of work. Since the park has been closed due to COVID-19, every day is just trying to keep nature at bay. Fairyland is a very old analog park that was built by welders and fabricators in Oakland uh, in the post-war years, and they did a great job, but at 70 years, it's very high maintenance. We're still doing the old fashioned things. You have to grease the gears quite literally. It is a constant upkeep, but we love to do it here. Uh, it is worth it because it is something that you don't see very often anymore. I typically work with one full-time employee and uh, three part-time staff. During COVID, my part-timers and my full-time employee have been furloughed. So it's been myself for managing the eight acre property. So I've been focusing on keeping things alive. I've been doing a lot of watering because the gardening work can happen later, but if we let the property die, then that's gonna be a problem. I think this is a very important part um, of the community and so to lose fairyland i think would would be a big loss would be a big loss that's part where i don't know how to actually talk about that without getting emotional the reason that i came to fairyland eight years ago was to be able to provide a beautiful landscape for families and so in the absence of those families it's it's lonely here at the park what is a garden if there's nobody to see it We have done an enormous amount of work to make sure that Fairyland is safe for visitors and staff in light of COVID-19. I am looking forward to when we do reopen because you know, Fairyland is not fun without our guests enjoying it. Everyone is gonna be really excited and it's gonna be really nice to have people back in the park again. There's just so many therapeutic aspects to this place. And I, I think seeing Fairyland come back, it'll be nice to share that with other people. My hope is that uh, we open soon 
If we can't open soon, we'll still be here. I'll be working to make sure that everything stays as clean and healthy as possible for you when you can come back. And uh, hopefully we'll just see you sooner than later. We can't wait until we can welcome the entire community of Oakland back to the park. In the meantime, we'll be here making sure the park is safe and as fun and beautiful as it can be.